They will create the life that we truly love and desire. Mary Mary Morrissey teaches us they are love and relationships, vocation, health and fitness, time and money freedom. I'm going to focus on time and money freedom because so many people think that has to do directly with your bank account. When in essence, time and money freedom can actually be the time and or the money that you're contributing to improve society or a community or an individual. Of note is something right here in my backyard, my back bay, so to speak, is a nonprofit created by Captain Dan Peretz. He and his friend built together a boat, a 51-foot sailboat. Dan is the quintessential world traveler in sailing. I have sailed for 10 years in the Hudson River, and I have a strong affinity for sailing. The nonprofit that Dan created was based on his best friend who helped him build this magnificent sailboat, which is called MAGIC. The nonprofit is called Soothe Our Souls. The acronym is SOS. It is designed to help people who have significant and or traumatic illness. When his friend was diagnosed with terminal cancer, they began to build this boat. It created for his friend a desire to be on the water more often so he wouldn't think about his terminally ill, his terminal illness. Dan tells in his YouTube video, which is in the podcast details, he learned that his friend could concentrate more on building the boat, being out on the water, which I commiserate with because being out on the ocean, sailing, even the Hudson River, it's life-changing and inspiring. Dan tells us that this was one of the most important times of his life, is creating a better environment for his friend. You can take a monthly excursion through Soothe Our Souls, the nonprofit. No details are here in the podcast. You can certainly donate your time. You can certainly donate your money because any nonprofit in this day and age certainly needs money. And that's what time and money freedom can do for you. It's not just about money in the bank. One aspect that I have learned, even during the pandemic, is to give. Even if it's $10 to a charity, There's something about giving that opens up the universe to give to you also without expecting it. It's important to think of ways every day to give a little in some way to someone, maybe opening your doors for them, a smile. But this specific nonprofit has a very important mission, and that is to help people through their most traumatic illnesses. The peace, the calmness that one reaches on the boat, and it's all because of Captain Dan Peretz's bigger view of how to help people. You can also, of course, book a typical charter, which Dolphin Landings has. That is also in the podcast details. Kundalini Yoga teaches many manifestations, mantras, and kriyas using the different phases of the moon. We are in a full moon today. It's actually called the snow moon. Native Indians taught Americans that this is the month where generally the most snowfall occurs. Therefore, it's called a snow moon. The full moon is very powerful, especially for women. It helps us manifest and achieve some of our deepest desires. Where you have will and desire, 
you must take action steps, no matter how small, during the full moon for women. You will realize achievement. An example is another phase of the moon, the new moon. For me, I was bent on removing this person from the carriage house, which is my property, three houses and 40 acres. It had become ridiculously difficult to sell. This person would not allow anybody into the carriage house, which was detrimental to the sale. After three and a half years, I will say, after doing a Kriya during a new moon, which Howard Prakash taught us during her virtual virtual class, that this chanting we were about to do will create a manifestation that you have always dreamed about and always desired. Let me share with you. During the chanting, I had a repetitive vision of this man moving his furniture into a U-Haul. This vision would not stop. It was there. After the class, I sent an email to my girlfriends. One of my friends sent me a cartoon of a U-Haul with furniture moving into the U-Haul. The next morning, I saw a U-Haul outside of my door. Within three weeks, that person is gone. Manifestations, chanting, desire and your will and action steps, because I also printed out the U-Haul and a picture of him, put it on my kitchen cabinet, and I had directional signs leading to the U-Haul. This stuff works, (laughs) plain and simple. Do kundalini yoga, at least with certain moon phases. Har Prakash always teaches a class during a moon phase. Her website is on my podcast details. There's also another virtual class in L.A. It's called Rama Institute, created by Guru Jagat, both on my website. So worth improving your life when you get involved with Kundalini Yoga. Lastly, Excelsior Wine is one of the most intriguing vineyards because Peter DeVette, his family, have created a community school right on his property. For the young kids about five years old, they have a play school for them where they also are teaching them basic rudimentary study skills, some math, some playing. Also, between five years old and 12 years old, there is another school right there on the property so that He has 275 employees, can have their children right there on his farm learning every day while the parents are working. Some of you may not realize the history of apartheid in South Africa. As this is Black History Month, it's important to know in other parts of the world, they wrestled with a non-white racism. It finally ended. It took 50 years. Peter DeVette and his family have this sense that they have an obligation to create a better life for non-whites, for all of his employees on his property. This is one of the reasons I am such a proponent of the Excelsior label. Foremost, however, the wines are really good. They are grown sustainably. Peter talks about this in one of his online videos. They actually have no weeds, which a lot of people have to control in the California, Sonoma, Washington area, with pesticides or some kind of unhealthy treatment. Click on the link to read his blog, which is called From the Horse's Mouth. Very interesting information, up-to-date information in regards to all the community services which the DeVette family has created. Because of, the where, because of the area where they are, basically on the other side of the world in relation to the United States, they will most likely be the first vineyard to send over their rosé. Definitely buy Excelsior's rosé. They are famous for their brides, which is barbecuing, and yes, that's dead animal for this vegetarian, but you can do shrimp on the barbie, as they say. 
This is a bolder style rosé, perfect for winter months up in New York, but perfect right down here in lovely Gulfport, Florida. To conclude, it's really important when you have time and money on your hands, even when you don't have a lot, to get involved with some kind of charity locally because you can see what happens when you volunteer. You can see what happens when you take a cruise on SOS if you have a serious illness or you know someone who has a serious illness. Dan Peretz does these SOS cruises on a free basis, first come, first serve. That's why it's important to donate time and money also. Kundalini Yoga, they do specific kriyas that follow phases of the moon. So important to involve the phases of the moon in your daily life. It just adds a little more manifestation magic. Excelsior your wines, one of my absolute favorite Vineyards, Vintners, Peter DeVette's family is way above their their time in in this world of creating a better environment for the children and the people who work on his vineyards so that they can have a better life also right there on his vineyards farming. Lastly, I am not a life consultant. I am not a coach. I create this podcast once a week in order to improve the world one podcast at a time. You can certainly support me also through Patreon, Zelle. Just reach out to me. My website is noted also. If you have any questions on where to find these wines, please shoot me an email. Merci.